Hello, I'm Martin Park. You can call me Coach. Welcome to the channel. Firstly, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your company. If I may, can I ask you to please engage with your thoughts and opinions in the comments? And also, if you are listening on YouTube, then hit the subscribe and like button if you wish to follow. Today, I'm going to talk about patience, how to master this superpower, part one. Ironically, for most of you out there listening, you will never get to find out how to do this as you won't have the patience to stick around long enough to get to the end of this relatively short podcast on patience as you will have an uncontrollable urge to swipe or scroll away due to your complete lack of patience. But who knows, now that I've told you that, perhaps you will stick around writhing in your uncomfortableness and discover that you have more to offer yourself than you previously thought possible. Moving right along. What is patience? We all know the word, but what does it actually mean? As the saying goes, patience is a virtue. So I suppose to understand what patience is, then we first have to understand what a virtue is. So what is a virtue? In simple terms, a virtue is a positive trait or quality considered to be morally good and desirable. In the purest term, virtues are guiding principles that influence a person's behavior and character in a positive way and who worked out and decided this was good for us. The concept and idea of virtues has a long and varied history, spanning across different cultures, philosophical traditions and religious beliefs that dates back to ancient times and through various civilizations. From the ancient Greeks, particularly philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, to Roman thinkers including Cicero and Seneca, to the Judeo-Christian traditions, the Islamic philosophies, the Eastern philosophies including Confucianism, Taoism and Buddhism, through to the Enlightenment thinkers. Throughout history, different cultures and philosophical traditions have shaped the concept of virtues, reflecting the values and beliefs of their time. Today, the understanding of virtues continues to evolve, influenced by a combination of cultural, religious and philosophical perspectives. And while that all sounds good in a historical sense, do virtues have any value at all in today's modern world? Absolutely. The historical significance of virtues should not overshadow their relevance in today's world. The evolution of society hasn't diminished the value of virtues, instead it has emphasized their importance. In our modern setting, the need for guiding principles, positive traits and ethical conduct remains just as relevant as these values shape personal character and foster positive relationships and professional ethics. Put simply, virtues are an essential component of human character and interaction, providing a timeless framework that not only guides ethical behavior, but also cultivates and strengthens our overall well-being. So, back to patience, which is one of the virtues. And why have I singled out patience as a potential superpower and not one of the many other beneficial and important virtues? because I believe that patience stands out as a potential superpower among virtues due to its transformative impact on various aspects of our lives. In our modern world, often characterized by haste and instant gratification, patience serves as a steady force, allowing you to navigate challenges with composure and resilience. Unlike some virtues that may be situational, patience is a constant companion in your journey of personal and professional development. It acts as a stabilizing force during setbacks, providing you with the mental fortitude needed to persevere. It allows you to appreciate your journey, recognizing that meaningful progress always takes time. Also, the power of patience extends beyond the individual, as it promotes and encourages understanding, tolerance and effective communication, all essential ingredients for building strong connections with others. It is the steady heartbeat in the rhythm of personal growth and societal harmony. In essence, patience is not just a virtue, it's a superpower because it transforms how we approach challenges, relate to others, and ultimately how we experience and shape our lives. And while the virtue of patience is passive in nature, as in its purest form it requires maintaining composure, enduring with resilience, allowing time to unfold, and accepting situations without immediate forceful action, the mastering of patience is an active and intentional process. But unlike many other processes where you can learn to understand them via theoretical knowledge, with patience it is only through the intentional and conscious practice of it that you will ever have the opportunity to master it.
as patience is not something that can be learned and then stored in memory for later use. It is something that unfolds dynamically in the moments when we actively choose to exercise it. It is an ongoing lived experience that requires constant nurturing, adaptability, and a genuine commitment to its practice, as patience is not a static concept to be acquired, rather it is a continual journey of mindful choices and intentional responses. Developing patience starts with understanding how progress and change work. It means recognizing that many aspects of life, like personal growth, achieving goals, or overcoming challenges, all follow a natural development process unique to themselves and your particular situation. Some changes happen quickly, while others take time and can't be rushed. No amount of effort or willful, wishful thinking is ever going to make a newborn become a full-grown 21-year-old human in anything less than 21 years. So acknowledging and accepting that time is always a factor in progress and change is essential for mastering patience, as it helps you approach your life with a realistic and grounded mindset, allowing you to appreciate the gradual unfolding of experiences and achievements over time. Navigating this aspect of time means skillful adapting to different timelines, adjusting to the pace of change, and being aware of the dynamic nature of different situations. It's a holistic approach that combines adaptability, strategic timing, resilience, and an appreciation for the journey as it unfolds. How you go about developing and practicing your own patience is a unique and deeply personal endeavor. It starts with self-reflection and self-awareness, embracing setbacks as opportunities for refinement and growth, and the deliberate, consistent practice of actively choosing patience over haste. From the most trivial annoyance to the greatest challenges, the mastery of patience lies in understanding and accepting that everything takes time. Next week, I will cover part two of patience and how to master this superpower, where we will look at the patience depleting habit and modern trend of mindlessly using the internet and social media. Until then, I thank you for listening, and I look forward to spending some time with you again. Bye for now.